Hi guys, Simon here. Come, Michael. This is number nine, part nine. <sighs> Can't believe you're still watching. And thanks for all the guesses. People saying what they think the earth is gonna include. And not one of you's got close. <laughs> and I'm enjoying making these. It's great. Hope you like that new bit of music at the end. <laughs> right, so they've got the new hotel. They've moved in. Lovely condo, top floor. And this hotel's beautiful. Everything's perfect. Doesn't need anything doing to it. They've got staff. They kept a couple of the staff from before, from the previous owners. And the hotel's pretty much running it itself. It's making money. Um, because they've used cash to buy it, they've got no mortgage or anything, and it's ticking over lovely. They're madly in love. They've got plenty of time on their hands to go out and about each day. Everything runs itself. Kung is looking uh, and saying to Michael about potentially getting some more motorbikes to rent out, and maybe the front area of the hotel, there is a section they can make into a bar even extend a little bit at the side, make a bar, but it's a quieter end of the Phuket, so not sure, could even do a restaurant. Everything's going well, and we're moving forward six months down the line. So I'm losing track with her age, but I think Kung is now about uh, 45, and Michael is 67, 68. Yeah, made my numbers, got my numbers wrong, they're 23 years difference or whatever it is. Heaven's fine, perfect, in love. Um, Michael's got all those friends in Patea a couple of months before, and they're like, oh my God, what have you done? He's told me, bought the hotel. Anyway, he's invited them down. They've come down, had a couple of days there, a couple of nights, met Kung, gone away, very happy, surprised, and said, well, whatever. <laughs> they can't believe he's done it. He's stuck with her. But remember, she is special. She's the one. Coming up for their first argument, six months down the line, everything's fine. Michael's having problems with the car that the uh, previous owners gave them. Um, it's playing up a bit, and it's a four by four. They don't need a big truck like that in uh, Phuket. Everything gets delivered to the hotel. So he says to Kung, I want to uh, change this car. Let's get a normal saloon car, but a nice one, big one, luxury. Uh, and Kung says, yeah, absolutely fine. I agree, it's a good idea. So they wander off and there's a Honda dealer there they find. And Michael loves the big Honda. I think it's uh, an Accord maybe, Honda Accord. It's two million baht, top of the range, got everything. Comes like, yeah, perfect. The garage offered them 500,000 baht for their truck, so he's got to find a million and a half. And this point, Michael says to Kung, we're making money from the hotel. The pickup is the deposit. I don't want to take money out of the bank to pay for this. I'm going to put it on finance. And then the hotel pays for it. Very sensible, very good idea. And Kung's not happy with this. And they walk away from the desk in the garage in the corner of the showroom and they have an argument. She's like, no, let's pay cash, let's get it, we've got no bills, we just pay. And he's like, no, 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 I don't want to. His American passport is up for renewal soon. And he says to her, look, um, I've got to go back to the States soon, and, or we're going to go to the States. The States. I've got to get the passport renewed and when I left and sold everything I did put some personal effects in storage which I'd like to bring now to Thailand. Um, some nice stuff, only little bits and pieces. And it's time I just moved my bank, my money from America over here, most of it into the Thailand. It's, everything's safe now so he's still got um, about four million baht in the bank in, in America. He said so I, let's put it on finance and she's not happy at all but 
after thought she said well okay we'll do that so he's the the hotel because he again they're not married the hotels in her name lands in her name um, he's got a yellow book a tabby and whatever it's called so that he's got an address registered in Thailand the hotel's registered in his name on his yellow book so he can buy a car in his name so he's put the finance in his name and he's got it all straight through no problem um, Kung's actually gone guarantor having a Thai person on there so he's got the car a couple of days later pick the car up take the 4x4 in pick the car up lovely really nice Kung's still a you know bit not a, but that was their first argument anyway she's fine okay whatever done it and um, so he's got the new car everything's great um, and he mentioned about this American trip and he says to Kuhn, um got to go to America let's have a holiday and let's go to America together and have a holiday and it's going to take a month to sort everything out new passport all the bits and I can catch up with some old friends and show you around and she's like we can't really leave the business not at this moment you know we're still first year um, it's just coming into high season now they bought it at the end of the last high season so yeah just coming into the high season she said why don't you go have a nice break for a month and um, it'll do us good um, do everything you've got to do and get it done once and for all um, we'll look at a holiday in the future and he's like well are you really sure and she's yeah I can run this the way it runs itself so no problem um, and I get to use your new car. <laughs> Fair enough. So that's what he decides to do. To do that then. So over the coming three, four weeks, he books up a return flight back to the states from actually from Phuket, um, so he can get straight across. So he hasn't got to go back to Bangkok, which is good. And he books that up, um, sorts everything out with her, everything's fine, all good. And he said, right, off he goes. She takes him up to the airport, drops him off, um, he jumps on the plane and shoots off to the States. Um, rings it when he gets there, everything's fine, yep, good, good. And he digs his stuff out of store and he finds a shipping company. So he's got a, t a shipping box, two meters square cube. So two meters by two meters by two meters. Everything of his fits in there. It's cost him about twelve hundred and fifty dollars US dollars, and he sends it, um, you know, to the hotel. Ships it off. It's going to take about six, seven, eight weeks. So that's fine. So he's got that sorted, and he's gone off to catch up with some of his old friends, and he's just staying with his one friend for a couple of nights. Apart from that, he's in a hotel over there, so uh, catch up with some friends. Then starts his parts bought um, renewal. It's going to take about ten days, so he's started the process on that, and been to the bank, uh, arranged, pushing his four million whatever it is bar over to his Thai bank, um, but his pension still comes into America Bank, and then. He's now set it so it just gets sent straight over. Um, rather than mucking around with exchange rates and things, it just gets all done automatically. So everything's sorted, all good. Gets his passport uh, back in Thailand. Kung's hotel's going great. Um, so two weeks into Michael's trip, speaks to everything's fine. And then he's still wandering around for another, got about another. 10 days before he goes back seeing friends and things all good what can possibly go wrong it's all fantastic um, so uh, let's say it's a week before he comes back rings back come can't get hold of her no answer so oh, so Anyway, for a couple of days now, ringing, can't get hold of her. He's like, well, 
what's happened, I can't get hold of it, that's strange. Try his email online. Um, nothing. Weird. Run the hotel. Um, girls answered. Oh, she's out at the moment. Oh, okay. So he's weird, can't get hold of her. And this goes on for his last days in America, just can't get hold of her. Weird. Very strange. Something's something's not right. Anyway, time to come back and gets on the plane and he thinks, well maybe she's lost her phone or I don't know. Got my coffee ready for this bit. Lands in Phuket. <clears throat> she knew he was coming back on the what flight and everything, but she's not there at the airport. Um, okay, jumps in a taxi. Back to the hotel. Very peculiar, you know how he can't get hold of her. It's like about eight days. No sign of her. No. No news at all. Very weird. Anyway. Pulls up at the hotel, taxi, jumps out, pulls his bag out, <coughs> pays a taxi, and walks into the hotel. Um, first thing he sees is new receptionist. He's like, oh, strange. So he walks over to her and says, hello, it's I'm Michael. What's your name? And she says her name. He says, nice to meet you. Uh, and then starts to walk past her to go to the lift. And the girls, their English is not brilliant, but it's like, oh, stop, stop, oh, where you go, what you do? And, he's like, and then he explains to her that you're new, I, I'm the owner of the hotel, this is my hotel. And, uh, and just sort of shakes his head at her and starts to walk again. Uh, and then this girl's like, no, 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 no. And she's creating, like, no, 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 you can't go. And he's like, what the hell? And he went, Ring Kung, and the girl's like, mm, he's, Ring Boss. Ah, ah, ah. So she gets on the phone and uh, rings the boss. Anyway, the lift's open. Out comes this um, Thai lady, mid 50s, glasses, well dressed. Michael looks at her and thinks uh, she's obviously a guest. You know, usually it's foreigners we got staying here, but this lady's tight. Anyway, he thinks she's going to walk straight past him, but she walks up to him and stops in front of him, and he's like, "Okay, who are you?" And she say, "Who are you?" And her English is quite good, luckily. So I'm Michael. He said, uh, "This is my hotel. Um, me and my partner. Uh, what's happening? Don't know this new girl, and who are you?" <coughs> this woman said. Uh, Michael, oh yes, Michael. She's sent him into inside to this girl, and the girls come over with uh, some car keys. And she's the woman said to Michael, uh, "I buy this hotel two weeks ago." And Michael's, uh, pardon. And he's like, well, "What are you on about? You bought the hotel. This is my hotel. And come." She said, "No, I." By hotel two weeks ago, and Michael hang on, gets the phone. He's trying to ring Kung again. No answer. He said, well, what, "What do you mean? Well, you you buy the hotel. I not sell the hotel." She say, "Yeah, I buy a hotel. I go lawyer, pay money." He say, "How much you pay?" Hmm. She looks at him strange, like you know, well, what's your business? Um, and he said, "This is my hotel. My partner. You you." What are you talking? You're completely, yeah, you can imagine what's going on. Kung has sold the hotel from underneath his feet for um, nine and a half million baht for a quick sale, and this Thai woman has bought it through the lawyers, through Michael and Kung's lawyers, and moved in two weeks before with her staff into Michael's hotel. So many of you said this would happen. Michael is just 
his mouth's open, he's like starting to realise something's gone wrong here. Um, he can't get his head, he's like, where's Kung, where's my girlfriend? To this woman, and she's like, gone. And he's like, oh, he's like, what? He said this, and he tries to explain to this woman what what's maybe has happened here, and the woman's like, hi bye, hotel. Go away. At this point, he looks at his hands and he's got the car keys in his hands and he's saying, and he's, where's the car? She said, car park. He's all over the place, his mind. He grabs his bags, rang off, there's his car. Of course, he didn't buy it cash. Couldn't, couldn't sell it. It's on finance. That's why she was angry, maybe because she wanted to maybe sell the car as well. Hmm. Gets up to his car, opens it, flicks the boot open, there's his big case, he unzips it, all his clothes and stuff is there in the boot of the car. Grabs his back, throws it in the boot, closes the boot, looking at the car, it's dusty, been sat there for a couple of weeks. He can't walk, what the hell? First thing he thinks, lawyers, police. Opens the car. On the seat is, um, on the passenger seat, he gets in, on the passenger seat is his bank book, I mean, but that doesn't mean anything because he's got the card for that bank book in his pocket and in that bank account he's got about 800,000 baht but he's got the card so the book's just like you just update it in the machine and it, when you put money in and out it just updates it's like a passbook it means nothing you can't do anything but that's on the seat maybe he left that there before and a bit of paper picks up this bit of paper and on the paper it says Michael sorry you're special I love you that's all it says and he's looking at this paper oh my god she's sold everything she's taken all my money and run away Ooh. He's like, right, lawyer, jumps in the car, st straight down the road, two pats on, parks the car, over to the lawyers. This is lunchtime. I've thought, lawyers are closed, lunch. Another 30 minutes before they're open. He's like, oh, God. Does he go to the police now? Does he ring his friends? What's he do? Anyway goes back to the car, thinks I'll sit in the car, notices the bank book and he thinks, let me check just in case you have my 800,000 baht, There's a, it's banks opposite the lawyers, so, okay, grabs the book, up to the bank, and this is a machine you just put your book in, it's like an ATM, you put the book in, and it prints on there an update, and gives you your information, puts the book in, and it comes back out, What do you think's on that book? Is it zero? Is it 800,000 baht? So, we'll leave it there and I'll catch you on the next one. Maybe you were right, or maybe you weren't. See you soon.